We got here last night, around 7 at night, 7.30ish. Stops right there. I just like to go around the truck, make sure everything is good. Nobody tried you know, to break in or anything. Oh man. So it's a, we got a good year right now. And then we got a, NTW. Uh, yeah, NTW after and then Burt Brothers so man um, we should be good still off duty and I'm gonna just uh, brush my teeth and comb my beard and put some lotion on and uh We'll head on over there. And voila, did you look at that, we're here. So we're gonna go into the dock. Um, it's starting to snow a little bit. It's not really snow, but. A little bit of ice. I like doing this, Doc. Get to, uh, what do you call it? Keeps you on your toes. It's not hard. Once you get the, the hang of it, it's, it's fairly easy. Honestly, it's not that hard. When I first came, I was like, how do you, what? How does this work? Um, but only because the trailer they had over there was about right here. Pretty sure you can go back to one of the videos um, and you can see what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Looks like it's gonna be a little crooked. Let me see if I can fix it before we touch. Look at that. Oh, nice and pretty. Okay, I know he doesn't like you to be touching all the way. So I'm gonna pull up just a bit right there. Look at all that snow coming in. Yeah. So it, it's not hard. It, a lot of the customers, they like to. Uh, they have their own way. Uh, let me turn off the truck. They have their own way that they want you to unload or prep, I guess you could say, for them to unload you, because sometimes they unload you. Um, <clears throat> I have, you know, a Walmart store, the one in St. George. They want you to call out the size and how many of that size there are. So that's the way they do it, you know? Um, I have another store, at, I wanna say Washington. They, all they tell me is throw them out as fast as you can. 
they count them. They just count to make sure the total matches. If the total matches are good, and then they worry about the sizes and whatnot later on, and then they return them if the size doesn't match. You know, and then I have other stores where they want you to park a specific way. You know, they don't want the truck to block the traffic, so you have to pretty much jackknife the truck into there, and that's just the way they want it done. So. You know, every every warehouse store is a little different. They're mostly the same, but you will have those one or two where they want you to, you know, some of them want you to throw them kind of slow so they can read off the number and mark them down. Again, every single one of them is different. So I, I honestly, whatever works for them, I tell them don't worry about trying to make it easier for me because I have to do this regardless. So I always tell them, hey, the customer always goes first at the end of the day. You know, if they want to do it this way, they want to do it that way, whatever it takes, you know, I'm there, so. All right, he just waved me down, told me that, uh, that he's done unloading. He's about to jump on the forklift and <clears throat> um, put the last pallet in. <laughs> National over here trying to give me a massage. I'm over here jumping back and forth. <clears throat> We're gonna wait right here. Well, I'm gonna go back there and close the doors. He usually goes in there and he uh, starts checking the, the order to make sure everything's there. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and uh, close these doors. Go on to the next one. This smells good out here. What I mean by good, I mean food. It smells like tortillas with meat. It's the best I can describe it. Somebody's cooking. It's probably a roach coach somewhere. W. Snowing slash raining now. Um, temperature went up to 37 degrees. So yeah, man. Um, oh Lord, what happened there? Was that something hit it? CR England, one of their headquarters in Utah. You know, I was gonna go with CR England before I went to night transportation. Um, luckily, I went with night. I, I I like night a lot. Night was really good to me. You know, I don't wanna dive into it. Do it slowly. Oh man, it's gonna be a long day. Hopefully they take us. 
again, our appointment is not till 10. It's barely 8. We're gonna, it's going to be 9 o'clock by the time I, we pull up or until the guy comes out. So hopefully, hopefully they take us. That's what I'm hoping for. So we will see if they will. The guy usually comes out and talks to me. I, I'm just gonna walk up to the to the dock right there, just so they can tell the guy that I'm here. Well, we're gonna go to on, and it's see, look, well, it says eight o'clock, but it's nine o'clock. Um, the guy just came and told us. He said door thirteen, where we always go. From this angle, it looks like huh. it looks like some like they're like it's taken unless there's oh no, it's next to the swift one. Okay, okay, it's fourteen. I think I always go to door 13 every time I come here. Line myself up. So 12? Got you. Some good information. Door 12, guys. Door 12. I only put this on because the beeping gets annoying and I know it gets annoying for you guys so I'm doing it for you guys So I was setting myself up to go to door 13. Kinda threw me off my game right now. So I'll 
good though. Oh man, it's chilly. I have a thing where if I'm backing up, I, I, I have to have the windows down. I don't know if that's just me or everybody does it, but I like to have all my windows down so I can hear, you know, all the ambient noises, make sure a little crackle or if you kind of touch something, you stop instead of just waiting for the, you know? Don't like to rain. Cali. We're making these turns, even though there's not a car there in that, that turning lane. I like to pretend that there is, just to uh, keep the habit up of how far I should go to make that turn. You know, that, that's just the way that I do it, honestly. It, it's just to uh, keep me in the habit of always leaving uh, that room or Man, the last thing I want is to get a, um, how do you call that, uh, um, into like a routine and then, you know, one day you don't, you, you don't look or whatever and you end up taking out a car. So uh, it's just something I do to just keep me, you know, keep me in the habit of doing those things, man. Uh, I'm looking both ways, no train coming. Ah. Good. Or good. So I was in like about a 20 minute drive up here to Burt Brothers. Not that far. Um, this one is the one where we go in and we uh, we help unload. So um, we're gonna back the truck in and get it done, man. I know that. I don't. All I do is just, uh, I just pinpoint somewhere in the area where it's at, just so I can, um, again, I only use it to see like how, how long it'll take me and if there's any traffic, because it, it tells you all that. The, the one, I already know how to get here. I usually don't use, I haven't used the GPS on the tablet in, in a while, honestly, because I, I already know where my stops are at. I have an idea, so. And this is my first time back at Bird Brothers in a while. Four waves. Ah, it's freaking bad. Oh man, they took off the whole door. Damn. Guys, just chilling in the van. Guess so. Just chilling in the van. Happy that it's me though, because sometimes they come and uh, they have a truck there ready. So. Chili.
I'm not lying, I like the snow. A lot of people hate it. I do not mind it at all. Anyway, so like I was saying, yeah, my dad came to this country as an immigrant. Um, no papers, nothing. And, uh, you know, one thing that I'm very proud of him is that um, he came. Did not know English at all, but he studied. He made it happen. No excuses. He got his class A and he... You know, he was a truck driver. His uh, siblings, some of his siblings followed in the same direction. They got their class A. Um, and you know, it's, um, when I got my class A, man, if I could tell you the, how proud my father was, because I got my class A license, you know. To him, it was a big deal because I was, I'm doing something that he, that, that he did when he got here, but only that, you know, it, it, it put food on the table, paid the bills, so, uh, it just feels good, you know, making your dad proud, even though I probably had jobs that pay better some, sometimes. there be more conversation for that later let's go ahead and uh let's go uh get picked up by my fiance because i am tired okay we are unhooked pull forward stop right there I'm gonna dump the airbags. Okay. You're gonna pull straight out. Boom. Just like that. Put the airbags back up. No, still got 49 minutes. We're good though. Man, it was a long, long day. I'm just happy we made it. 49 minutes, well you saw 50 something minutes. By the time I parked the truck, eh, about 45. And that's pretty much, it. it's all to it man. It's not that hard, um, it's pretty easy. As long as you follow the rules and, you know, check everything you're supposed to check. And, drive as safely as you can at the end of the day that's that's all that matters man that's one thing that i always say is uh i'd rather get home late or get to my destination late than not get there at all because no load is worth your life you know or worth anybody else's life because some of these drivers man they like to just just take off you know I, I'm when I'm in Vegas you know you can go up to 70 miles an hour trucks are governed at 65 so there's it can only go 65 and that's using cruise control if you're using just the pedal it's only 62 and that's as far as it'll let you go so 
some of these truck drivers, man, they'll, they'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going 65 and they're flying right next to me going 100 miles an hour. You know, again, no load is, no load is that important, man. It's never that important. But at the end of the day, you know, that's just my opinion. Some people uh, are in a rush and no matter what you tell them, if they think they're right, they're right. You ain't gonna change their mind. But you know, if I if I can be that that one little difference, you know, why not? You know, always drive safe. And look at that, my baby girl is here to pick me up. Cool.